cannot set off on us. Just look at the person. They are the less. They are the less. <laughs> <laughs> they are the less. <laughs> Hello guys, how are you? Hope you had a good day. And welcome back to Live Nation Media KE podcast. We are we talk it QRO in black and white. Atunanga filters and here it's all about vibes. Mm-hmm. With Christians born again individuals, not as a cliche, we mean it. Yeah. And today I have a not a guest, but I have Emmanuel around. Ajom <laughs> mzoea. Yeah. But then Emmanuel je tuambia nini? Je yeah. tuambia social media handles zako. Hey, yeah, the story has been given. Oh, so guys, <laughs> whatever you are watching us. <laughs> welcome to this very good uh, discussion period. I know it will be a blessing to you and to someone outside there and I know Lord will bless you. Welcome. My name is Emmanuel aka God, God with us. Wow. <laughs> so our topic today is social media mm-hmm. and versus relationship, right? Uh-huh. And yeah, we stand for any correction, but si tunongenga vile iko. Ah. Yeah. So Emmanuel. Yeah. Tuambie, uko soko? Mhm. Uko soko? Yaani mambo tukutie. I want to know kama uko soko. Oh. Mhm. Stani. Niko tu. Eh, but I'm the Niko tu. So God has given me the grace and uh, I'm trusting God for great things, for great things. Yeah. And uh, a great family in new in new near future. So, wherever you are, yeah, is Emmanuel. So, now today we are discussing more of relationship and social media. By the way, we have seen so many things that are happening about relationships, about marriages, mm-hmm. which uh, mostly people are claiming that it's about social media. What is your stand about this? About relationships and social media? I had the problems, the breakages and the heartbreak, heartbreak, heartbreaks in relationships, all these things. I think it's all about pressure. Pressure? Yeah, pressure. Okay. Yeah, it has led to a lot of relationships or over expectations who can get a relationship mm-hmm. and so many broken families. Yeah, and so many decisions that ah marriage what she kai. Tunapiga tu kila mtu tunaenda tu tukiingia kila mali kila mali tukitaka as long as we get what we want. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it's not a good place to be. And we are praying for the best mungu tu akuje <laughs> i think it's time <laughs> it's time akuje tu akuje tu twende twende i think on the same these relationships and these uh issues i know that uh, so many people are in relationship but yeah. the, their expectations were never met Mm-hmm. And we can say that uh, most of these people, they get the that kind of standard of expectation from social media. Exactly. Because uh, I have a friend of mine who always says that I cannot settle for less. And uh, the person who is saying that I cannot settle for less, just look at that person. The other the less. The other less. <laughs> But they not want to settle for for yeah. less. You are not say, we, are, we are not say, we are not telling you to settle for less. No? no. Neither am I telling you to settle for the match. But the question becomes one. Who you are settling with? Is it the right person? Is is this person the will of God? Because we have seen so many so many people uh, we have seen several people in marriages and the marriages is working good. Mm-hmm. Actually, who are a testimony to youth and the young generation? Who are an example to those people who want to enter into marriage or into relationship sector? Because they have seen people who have prospered in it, yeah. people who are enjoying it. Mm-hmm. 
on the other hand we have seen people who are crying actually oh. say i think ni 80% <laughs> 80% <laughs> we are crying oh you are crying oh which is not the plan of god yeah true. That, that is the plan of god in fact when god created marriage because he started in the, the garden of eden okay. yes then he created a woman for adam he called her a helper yeah right mm-hmm. then adam saw that she was so good <laughs> then she called her a rib of my rib yeah. hey, hey. so now where do you think the problem now comes in because if you have the rib of your rib i don't expect i i, I expect that that one will be like uh, the, the likeness of uh, of god where do you think these loopholes are coming from of the rib it is you have money i have money that is the rib and the rib <laughs> uh, but now the, the the rib and the rib that if it is money versus money now they are the most people are divorced Well, I can say so. But most marriages size in a break because of that money. Or let me ask you one thing. What makes you happy? What makes me happy? Was what I'm about to drop here. Itaacha watu wengi sana wakia confused. What makes me happy is uh, being in the will of God. Actually that is what makes me happy. Okay. being in the will of god now because i know when we talk about being in the will of god it carries very much because it the the will of god it has its own blessing that comes when you align yourself to that will yeah, of god true. yes so now now that's what makes me happy because it is not about the money no it is not about uh, the house no it is not about the the sura itself no but the will You know there is the difference between the look. Eh? There is difference between the match you have. Eh? By the way, so or if you categorize it into the physical things and we forget about the unseen things, then it acquires some deformities. Okay. So now you were you were to drop something now. Yeah, the reason now. why I asked you what makes you happy why did you is ask because you? I am a Christian, yeah. a born again Christian. Yes. Raised by a mom who knows Christ. Yeah. She's a pastor actually. Nitawakaribisha kwa kanisa yake one of these fine days. But I feel like among other things that make me happy, money makes me happy. Yes. Money. And I think that's why most ladies they don't go for the husband, they don't go for the looks, they don't go for the what. They just go for money. Cuz money to some extent it comes with that piece of You have the bills settled. Yes. You are living a good life. Yes. You have the peace of mind. Yes. That way I can pray. Mm-hmm. Vizuri. Mm-hmm. I can read the word mm-hmm. vizuri because mm-hmm. I have peace of mind. Mm-hmm. But when I don't have money, mm-hmm. I won't lie to you. Uh-huh. Oh you have no God. peace of mind. It's not a peace of mind for real. Uh-huh. And that time in Africa point I'm like okay that, this is then but then i came to a space of contentment and inakujanga na happiness ingine yeah wow. contentment uh-huh. yeah so before nianze kukuwa contented with where i am today mm. i was like i don't have money yani without money i'm so stressed to a point of sizi kumbuka i can't even pray because i'm mad niko ile niko na sira ile mbaya sana reason behind it sina pesa sina pesa sina pesa kumbe hii pesa inakuanga na mambo mengi so okay now i think now this gives us that, that this tells us that most of people why well, we see that relationships are not working out maybe many people are expecting to get money out of it yeah so that's, settled. that's where we get that thing for i can't settle for less can't if i'm stressed and i'm working okay. i don't have enough money okay mbona ni settle let's say for example i'm earning 15000 yes why should i settle with someone who is earning another 15000 where will we go okay that's the mentality in the current generation okay shenda wapi if i'm earning 15 you should be earning 15 times 5 75 you should be there wow <laughs> man hey took on a cars we have you a lot to do there. Yeah. we have a lot to do so uh, if you have a, a quota I should be having a full 
yeah or three quarter oh, apple three quarter. i get you at three quarter we try and work it out until to kwesasa we are full one of our one yeah now there are th- there are these people when they meet they are not well up mm-hmm. okay during their first times of their relationship when either the man is not at work or the lady she's not working those people are just hustling the word hustling yeah and uh, with no time the woman gets a job or she finds another person with what this man doesn't have which is money which is money okay now you find that this person even if this was the will of god for this person because of lack of money this person will just drop this person as a trash somewhere a corner then she runs to that other guy who has money you see mm-hmm. so now when you are talking about relationship and uh, and uh, social media all these things do you think that they originate from social media from people copying from others or where do you think they originate from? exactly social media me i'm talking from the perspective of us as women yes but i don't want to generalize myself with yeah. those women who are going against the will of god from a point of a woman's view the social media has told us that when you build with a man yeah. eventually you will lose it all how oh. utampata bila kitu but the moment ameanza kupata ka kitu that's when anajua kuangalia wasichana wenye ni warembo kukuliko that's when anajua kuangalia wasichana wenye wamesoma kukuliko because he has money he can afford all that yeah wow but then there is I had I was reading somewhere there is a difference between building with a man and building for a man. Building with a man yes. is like from my own point of view to my partner yes we don't have nothing. Okay we can eat we can dress not nicely but at least we are not working naked. We work out together. I see the potential in you. You see the potential in me and we work on each other yeah. until you get there. And when we get there, usinigeuke. But building for a man, nile, although they say that women mature faster than men, but building for a man is like I'm the one always giving you ideas. I'm the one always telling you like hey we need to do something extra. I'm the one always telling you like you have the potential of doing this, do it. I'm the one always giving you business ideas and what not. You do nothing about it. I fund everything that I see in you. If I see you are a good musician, I'll buy you guitars, I'll buy you pianos, I'll buy you everything. That's building for a man. So to this point, to meamua, you build I decorate. Okay. Yeah. So, Nikuja nipate umejanga mimi kazi yangu ni kukuja kuipamba ninunue maua and all that but I won't build with you. Cuz eventually social media imeonyesha so many people. When I build with you kifika hapo mbele you change you just totally become a different person. Wow. So, man, guys, outside here, we have a lot of work to do. These ladies they don't want to build for us. I can also do it. Don't kill yourself they, for it. Eh, they want us to build then they come and they decorate it. Yeah. And uh, you know, eh, even in the Bible, the man is given the the privilege of providing for his family. Yes. And uh, a woman is given the privilege to help. Uh-huh. So, eh, what do you think about eh, when you build together? from scratch the two of you what do you think about it you can find that this man has got no finances you have the finances no that's where that's what and we say uh, it's called building for a man and that's not we are not doing that you we, don't want we, that one. we are not doing don't, that don't, don't, don't but that we one. can try and build with a man okay you can build with a man but not who is trying to build man. and you are there to also support to build it exactly okay so man we are encouraged don't stay back for someone to do things for you uh-huh. but in on the other hand start doing it and then when this person comes in and this is what you are doing that person will support what you are doing and you will progress together yeah. now we have this question because we have this which is the question that is going around that when those people have built themselves up 
after some time now they see that this woman does not want to it's not my type cannot cannot submit now this man sees that uh, because uh, when when a woman supports a project with more than the man now she wants to be superior than the man in the literal perspective because mimi ndio nimefanya sana so mimi ndio nafaa wao nafaa kuonekana See, you understand it. but now now chumbaya. men they don't want that but a man always wants a, a submission of a woman then work now, hard then work hard not even hard work uh, harder uh, and smarter uh, yeah now these people who meet when they have money you have money i have money we meet together and we decide to enter into a relationship then now because that is the time that you find that mimi naweza wewe unaweza how should these people do think how, how do you think these people should handle this kind of relationship because on uh, in most cases we will find that this relationship is not mostly might not last because this woman wants to be ahead at the same time the man wants to be ahead reason being that you found me the way i am i found you the way you are so we are equal this kind so of are you trying to tell me that a relationship should make me become a different person. No? Mhm. No, no, no. That's what you're trying to say. No. How do you this how should these people handle about it? Because tumeona watu sana we have seen so many people wanapata huyu alipatana kwa sababu alafu tuko kidogo na mwambia you found me the money. You can still go away. I still get another person. I think it's all about communication and that understanding each other. Okay. But mostly where kids are involved. I think sasa inakuanga the goal the same goal the children okay. yeah but okay according to my own perspective i think is a family is not you last for now in this current generation when you have money i have money we're good to go okay now let's get a little bit into the christian uh, understanding of the whole thing that is families and relationships and the all this what can you advise to someone who is outside there maybe they are in a relationship and they have they are away from hardships here and there they are in a relationship and maybe the man is not good uh, in finances still maybe that man is maybe supported by a lady that lady they are in a relationship what yeah. do you think they what can you advise to these people because the world it means that it tells that they should not set off for less but now when you go to a godly way now what can you advise about this because a uh, marriage and uh, okay actually bible it talks about marriage it should be honored by everybody yeah. right then now these people are there they are built themselves what can, what can you tell about these people who are there outside as youths in relationships and yes, young couples or young adult people in marriage what can you tell them about Okay, I'm not a relationship expert, but what I know is that building together works. Building together works. works. Yeah. So that's a, that's where now the Bible tells that uh, says that the woman will help the man to grow. You know, there is this person of uh, this friend of mine who was given an advice by person. Uh, actually, uh, our, uh, his wife then she told him that just do this and this and this to avoid this and this and this because you know how many we are then that person just uh, kept quiet she he did not say that i will not do he didn't say that i will do just kept quiet but now after uh, after some time what happened is that the man did not do Then after some time he just uh, he went to another person told you know this person told me uh, this and this and this then the first question was if you were told this one why did you not come and tell me because this person saw something that you did not see yeah so we can say that the reason as to why we say that in a relationship it is uh, communication is key you find that this person can see things in a different perspective than you see so when it comes to godliness and uh, christian way we are encouraged we are encouraged to do uh, the right thing and the right thing is not based 
Okay, can we base the uh, relationship on money? Okay, not really, but money makes things easier. Okay. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> now, let's not base it on money. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, when we talk about uh, good men, God's men, you are rich. Because nowadays you can say that uh, many people, they are not, many people in marriage, according to the information that I've heard from many, they are not enjoying it. They are just enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Because there are kids, they cannot run away from kids. Hey, me, honestly speaking, it's because of my kids and I'm suffering. If I am not at peace and I'm not happy, how can I transfer the same happiness to my kids? So, now, many people who are in marriage, I thought that's what is happening. And uh, now those who are in recent generation, when they see that kind of, they run away. So yeah. you go your way, I go my way. You know, the Kitambo were told that uh, we used to hear that uh, our parents they would just endure to let the, uh, the kids grow. You are sort beaten out, uh, every night, uh, insulted every night. And but now, in this generation we are living in, it is very difficult for a man, for a woman to stay with a man who is brutal. That's, that's a deal breaker, man. So now, that's why, now look at this. Now, let's... Uh, get deeper a little bit now we see that there are weapons that the devil uses remember uh, the plan of god about marriage is to raise a godly offspring yeah godly offspring mm-hmm. so this godly offspring is not about you man you just go out and collect somebody and bring him in house and the foundation children. matters a lot so in these relationships we can say that uh, most of the relationship their foundation are faulty Mm-hmm. Because when we talk about faultness in a relationship, uh, a faultness is a le- in relationship is a relationship that has got no foundation at all. We just met here in the town, we collected ourselves, we just entered into the house, and just give, started giving birth. Not just a foundation, a good foundation. A good foundation. Ah, this is very interesting. So, guys, anyone who is outside there. You might be saying that my relationship was a faulty one. How can I rectify a fault the foundation? You have a lot to, a lot to do. Yes. Remember, our God is a merciful God. Maybe you did that when we are not born again. Yeah. When you are in the world. And now you are in. And you have found yourself in. You have come to the knowledge of the truth. When you have come to the knowledge of the truth, now what you need to seek more is this truth for you to walk in this truth so that you can know the right thing to do. Yeah. So when the foundation is faulty, the first thing is to ensure that you repair that foundation. foundation. Yeah. And you remember, if the foundation was faulty, it might it might take you time to to, to repair it, to restructure yeah. it, because now it might be not it, it might not be easy to to stay, to build it from scratch. Because you're already in. But what you can try is to repair about yeah, it. Now, it that repairing is now whereby you can, uh, you say that I don't want my children to go through the issue that I went through. Now, God, because I've come to realize the, no, the truth in your word. Now, Lord, from here, I want us to do a new start with you. Now, that's where we involve God. So, this, what we can say this evening is that uh, we can uh, uh, we can restructure we can uh, uh, do what repair the, our relationships mostly by taking it back to god yeah true right yeah pray so, ask for the holy spirit and yes. for sure when the holy spirit is in you mm, you're good and to go good to go yeah. wow now what can you encourage somebody out there there when you go by the You are never too old to get money. Mm-hmm. Never too old to get money. <laughs> God is not time bound. And one thing I know, I am rich. rich. I am rich. Wow. If my father in heaven is the one who owns everything, na mi ni mtoto wake. Mbona nikose? Mbona nikose? Nta inherit kila kitu. I know I'm rich. Yeah. 
So, so just believe in God, trust in God, read the word, pray harder, get mentors, and don't don't like don't rush into relationships because a woman is curvy, because she's beautiful, wow. because she she has a good smile, a good dental formula, and all that. But dig deeper. Okay, to squeeze it to my that my boys were chat, they are the worst. The worst, the worst. For the cause or what? Oh. Most of them, they are fake. Kwa menda kwenyeshana outfit, kwenyeshana vile wakona Adam's epo kubwa. They can sing perfectly, they can dance in church, but deep down, their soul is not even there. It's all about the outward appearance. So that's all Naskia. Hey, hmm, church boys watch and I know. Wongo pe. Wongo pe. Wongo pe. Which is not a good picture. Yeah, it's not a good picture. Now when you end up with GRB, I can see. Mm. So we can say that in relationship, at least, we should resemble, resemble who you are. Yeah. Resemble yourself. Be yourself. Like... In Christianity, I mean, I always say that your lifestyle speaks a lot. Wow. Si lazima uambie mtu nimeokoka, nampenda bwana, nataka nikuombe, nini but from the way you dress, from the way you talk, from the way you treat people, from the way you talk to people, from the way you like treat everyone in general. People will just be like, mm, there's something good about this girl. What is it about her?" Atakuja kuuliza and be like, "It's God though." It's God, do and like ah, God. I want that God. So I, then, I, I want today, that God. Oh your God. Tell me about him. Wow. Yeah. So the relationship and social media in Christ. We are saying that be yourself. Pray for God's guidance. Yeah. If you want to last in this kind of life. You remember the generation that we are living in. So Manu, let me yeah. ask you one yeah. thing. Jumesema sisi we look at money. Uh-huh. What do you look for in a lady? Like usitupatia pointers watu wakuja wakijifake but just give us a little clue. Okay. Si kama wanaume. Eh unajua most of we as men we are impressed with the outward. Okay. So the outfit of a woman the sura ya mwanamke vile yeah any actually is the outward part which talks more to men but now eh kuna kitu kingine wanaume wana expect now expectations for men once they see that they expect somebody who will support them to grow or and uh, somebody who will help them to build so now the only issue that we always have is one now huyu mtu akiingia ndani ajui kama hizi vitu atazipata. Hiyo ni kitu ana hiyo ni kitu ana expect. Because wewe unaangalia nje. Hiyo ni kitu hiyo ni kitu ana hiyo ni kitu ana hiyo ni kitu ana expect. Si sawa. Unajua sasa ayuko ndani ako nje. Eh. Unajua at least mwanamke akiangalia mwanaume mwenye akona pesa atamuona automatically atano huyu akona pesa. Juu kama ni gari yako nayo, kama ni pesa au kitoka hivi yako nayo. Lakini sasa huyu eh, naye mwanamke, naye mwanaume, huyu mwanamke mwenye wa kujenga na yeye, sasa aonekani hivyo. Unaona? But what happened to the dating period? That's why you get hey, to learn. Hey, squeeze watu na picha white. Hey, people are yeah, they are hiding their white banner. People are hiding until you, can't you get fake, in. You can't fake. They you fake are until they get in. You know, you know nowadays what I have come to realize is that people are faking more of themselves for them to get in. First. Now the moment they get in first, the moment they get in, after a little time now they express their self now. They show off their their, their, their self. <laughs> That's why unaona utapata huyo mtu mkidate mkiwa kwa courtship, huyo mtu tu ako very humble. That person is eh, anaongea vizuri. And you know this person is submissive. And you know character traits will go after zi ziko. But the moment they get inside, hey, after after three months, ule mwenye ulikuwa anawaambia, "Hey babe, sina side yeye hii." Anakambia unajua aje. Sasa uko na mikono naweza fanya. Eh. Now hiyo ni hiyo siki tulikuwa na expect kuje. Sasa juu sasa mmeingia sasa ndani. And remember, 
uh, when you are in uh, dating and the courtship actually you are just campaigning yeah, so campaign period so that campaign period you can never know the leader very well during the campaign period but the moment they sit on that position now they start now and, uh, uh, expressing the rules and uh, and uh, working with you now that's the and time you realize hey kumbe msali kwa hivi okay that's why i think sometimes yeah. when yeah. i support this thing of kamwiste ukuja tukae na wewe wani ya kwanza tuone kama tunapimana wenda wazimu okay sometimes i support it but it's not godly uh-huh. but it's happening even with our pastors and all that okay it's happening but okay it's not godly but and Roger, you know that you spend a lot of money and on a wedding and after three months mko uko mna file divorce that's, i think that's why god is giving us the 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 period of praying yeah. and seeking the face of god to be a certain of who you want to settle down with but na just as ingine mungu anakuambia ngale kuna mwambia god you don't know this woman is curvy na wewe unataka niende huyu mpeti exactly 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 now that's where now we say that if you take yourself in and the things are not working out never ever blame god you can never go you remember but, by the way there is this thing that you can call god and god is not there to answer you very true is it okay to walk out hmm? is it okay to watch a marriage wende watch a marriage jwene hey it in a depend we mezeje umeacha kwa sababu gani because there are so many reasons in yenza yenza fanya mtu waachane okay what no. do you think is the like the main reason you ni nyata mkika hivi na mungu kwa table mki discuss ataona una make sense mm-hmm. the reason why you left your marriage mm-hmm. sasa so, so, hiyo nyata make itafanya mungu atiaone kuna sense yeah. By the way, remember, remember this. We have said that if the foundation is faulty, then the whole house is in faultiness. But when the foundation is right, sorry. When the foundation is right, then it means that that house will be strong. We are given this example of this person who built his house on sand yeah. and the other person who built his house on the rock. Now, when you talk about rock, rock is Jesus himself. Mm-hmm. So this person is not walking by only eyes. No. This person is walking in God. So yeah. anything that he does, ni kitu yenye akona akona confirmation from God. Sasa, now, now we know that tunazingia ndani, yes, hata Mungu akwa ame confirm hivyo. Na bado kuko kuna challenges. Now there are things that we call it challenges of life. As it goes hang in this life but is kupigwa like As a really no, a challenge no, 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 of no, 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 not once not twice no, no, not thrice no 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 because to me yeah. that's the biggest deal breaker by the me you beat me once twice i'm out i won't even think about it i'm out mhm umepigwa leo umepigwa kesho now I'm the out. question the question is okay mimi under the scenarios of the ones that i've had yenye iko na yenye mtu alitafuta kutoka kwa god sijasikia kiwe imefika hapo lakini yeye kujitafutia when you are when, kama nyinyi mlijitafuta hapa hivi mkaletana hivi expect anything yeah. expect anything sure. because huyu mtu usipompatia expectation then atakuwa na response hiyo response ni kutoa ile hizo vitu siko ndani yake mm. kukuonyesha you have to do this one whether you like it or, or not. not so that's where now una, una find out mtu anasema eh hey, kama maya kama marriage siko namna hiyo when you started it did you involve god no. no so therefore what do you expect god to do the reason as to why we do this foundation the best thing of involving god in relationships and all these things is because at least if there is any challenge you can go back to god and ask god yeah, which is the way out why why yes yeah. because temptations are there temptations they are there but god will always give you a way out Why does he give you that way out to show his own glory through that situation because if you cannot have a test you can you can have a testimony yeah, you can't you have, can a testimony. have a testimony so when you hear people saying that their marriages are standing and they are enjoying their marriages when you go sit down and ask them of the challenges they, they will start telling you this one this one this one and the god came in god helped like this one this one and gives us gave us victory that's why they can stand and sit somewhere and encourage somebody who is going the same 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 issue on the same in in their relationship or in their marriage and then they are able to overcome yeah but still marriage in a manual 
Inanda marriage aina maana huyu asikwambia ti do this this worked for me eh. and you you are guys from the bush mm-hmm. unakuja kumwambia do <laughs> this eh ni kama kutoa man from the bush ameweza kutumia pit latrine na mleta kwa chaya kukalia mm-hmm. and you're like you have to flash you have to flash you have to flash <laughs> just <not>. because <laughs> Like we are raised differently yeah. so what worked for you yeah, is not what will work for me exactly so we like take your man the way he is take your wife the way she is and uskwenda over expectations so, it kills over expectation kills so social media and relationships guys do not learn things from facebook mm-hmm. and expect them directly from that copy money. paste don't copy paste that is the word mm. so we uh, anything that you do as a christian and uh, even if you are not born again sometimes it is also very good to do analysis do some analysis check in check in yeah, check in, in, in. Uh, trial eh? but when you are talking about trial it's not about bringing the person to your house no 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 Hey. So I must know where they oh, stay. Hey, I get one issue to jump to come and dege. Yeah, kidding. Eh, when this is not go and an extent of uh, giving back to change. Anyway, guys, don't <laughs> don't don't experiment that. <laughs> First dates meet at a public place. Yeah. Talk. Hapo hata ukipiga utatetewa. Nothing can happen. Express yourself. Yeah, express yourself. Nothing can happen in a public place, I believe. By the way, I think it's also good to explain to this person, tell him your expectations speak about your expectations you yeah. expect you expect muongeleane mm. in case mwambie unataka mtu atakosha viongo na you feel that you can, it cannot work it is better off you just leave her hand than just it's coming that simple by the way this yeah. is mm. so openness in this relationship is very important usifiche hivi vitu kwa 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 roho ati kwa sababu ati unasikia tu kwa 35 years and you need money and uh, desperately yeah. no 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 expectations if you want a vacation at miami <laughs> tell him in 5 years we yeah. should be rich i yeah. want to go on a vacation to miami are you ready to work hard for it exactly, exactly. if he's ready to do that i got to go yeah. so mungu abariki sana i know guys you are expect you are expecting kwa, uh, comments and you're looking forward for more subscriptions yeah. share to your friends and above It, everything mm. make sure that your relationship has a farm farm foundation in capital letters in christ farm foundation, foundation. yeah in the capital yeah in christ wow so god bless you have a blessed hi bye Eat. Thank you.